To become a millionaire at any age is a huge achievement, but to do it whilst you're still under 18 is simply mind-blowing. Sure, some of it involves luck, but there's no doubt that these following five teens are natural-born entrepreneurs. In this list, we'll be showing you five kids that are self-made millionaires. Number 5. Ashley Qualls when she was only 14, Ashley Qualls began teaching herself HTML and decided to launch a website called whateverlife.com to showcase her design work for interested buyers. At the time, the site didn't get much at all in the way of traffic. The following year, Ashley began offering her services to classmates that wanted more personalised layouts for their MySpace and social networking pages. As traffic grew from word-of-mouth advertising, Ashley joined Google AdSense and took a cut of the advertising revenue. She started making deals directly for people to advertise their products on her site, and at one point her website was getting around 7 million unique visitors a month. This made Ashley over a million dollars in ad revenue. At 17, she purchased her first house. However, since sites like MySpace have since become obsolete, so has her website. She is now a web specialist at thesocialu.com, where she helps students ensure their social media profiles and related online content are optimized for college and graduate school admissions as well as internships and employment. Number 4. Fraser Doherty Fraser Doherty began his road to riches at the age of 14 using his grandmother's recipe to make homemade jam. He started to sell his jam to his neighbours in Edinburgh, Scotland and by 16 he created a huge demand for the stuff by tweaking the recipes on his own and figuring out a way to make jam from 100% pure fruit. He called his pure fruit jam Super Jam. Business picked up so well that he dropped out of school to work full time and he was soon after approached by the Waitrose supermarket chain in 2007. Waitrose stocked this super jam in all 184 of its stores and it didn't take long until this product was in over 2,000 stores from various supermarkets. In 2009, Fraser hit $1.2 million in sales and he also published a book called The Super Jam Cookbook, available for sale through Amazon. Number 3. Cameron Johnson it looked like Johnson had always had a knack for business. When he was just five years old, he would go door to door selling vegetables, and at the age of nine, he had already started his own greeting card company called Cheers and Tears. At age 12, he began buying and selling Beanie Babies at the height of their popularity, and after the Beanie Baby business slowed down, Cameron took $50,000 he had earned and started My Easy Mail, a confidential email forwarding service. Finally, he started an internet advertising venture called SurfingPrizes.com and by 15, Johnson was making nearly $400,000 a month. By college, Johnson had started another site called CertificateSwap.com which he later sold in a six-figure deal. Now at age 27, he owns and runs MillionaireSecrets.com, an online community giving entrepreneurs the resources they need to start, grow and profit from their business. Number 2. Robert Ney Robert Ney is a bit of a child prodigy. At age 14 he had no coding experience and taught himself everything the old fashioned way by reading books. In one month Robert already had 4000 lines of code written for his game Bubble Ball. Once finished, he published the game on Apple's App Store as a free download. In just two weeks, the game had over a million downloads and Bubble Ball would eventually dethrone the insanely popular Angry Birds as the most downloaded game in the free App Store. Over one two-week period, the game would earn Robert nearly two million dollars. Number 1. Dominic McVeigh Dominic McVeigh is a more classic entrepreneur as he made his money in a more traditional way rather than something tech-based like apps or websites. He's from London and started his first business at the age of 13, importing micro-scooters from the United States into the United Kingdom. The story goes that one day while he was searching for credit card visa on the internet, McVeigh misspelt it and came across visa spelt with a Z, which are collapsible micro-scooters that were being sold in the US. 
Determined to get one but unable to afford it, he asked a company to give him one for free, as he was sure he could sell the scooters in the UK. They refused initially, but then said if he bought five, they would give him one scooter for free. From that point on, there was no stopping him. He raised the cash to buy five scooters by organising under-18 discos, trading in stocks and shares using his dad's credit card and selling mini disc players from Japan. He easily flogged the five scooters to friends and family, the next week he sold ten. Winning the European distribution rights for the scooters meant that two years later, he sold 11 million units. By the time he was 15, he was a self-made millionaire. As of 2011, he is worth roughly $15 million according to the Sunday Times Rich List. At the age of 18, he was quickly appointed by Her Majesty the Queen as a pioneer for Britain in entrepreneurism. Dominic now runs a portfolio of business interests from fashion, music, media and cosmetics. Thank you for watching and if you have a video idea, why not leave a comment below and if we make it, we'll give you a big shout out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome daily lists of all things 5. This is all 5 and until next time, feed your mind.